Hi, my name is Chris Livingston, and I am the director of the Historical Research Center here at the Walter Stern Library on the campus of CSU Bakersfield. I'm here to share with you today some of the uh, records that are housed here in the archives. Uh, I want to start off with our largest collection. It's the uh, Kern County Court Records, uh, spans uh, a time frame of uh, from 1866 to roughly 2004. Uh, and these records include a variety of uh, things such as uh, criminal and civil uh, actions, including criminal case info, uh, probate records, uh, public planning records, and immigration and naturalization records. So anybody who immigrated to the county um, over you know, a period of time from as, as far back as 1866, uh, we have records uh, for. Um, we also uh, collect records uh, such as political papers. We have different politicians, local politicians, uh, whether they be congressmen or um, um, uh, county board of supervisors, uh, such as Walter Stern. Um, we also have uh, Dorothy Donahoe papers um, and uh, Harlan Hagen papers. Those are all political papers. Uh, we have a large uh, architectural collection uh, that documents um, just different uh, architectural um, design uh, for Kern County. And um, we also have a music collection, the Lu uh, Lucien Garbon Musical Score Collection, which is a very highly researched uh, collection. We also have a number of individual documents that aren't a part of any particular collection, but are of um, high historical value to us. Um, the first one here is uh, an, uh, an officer's commission. Um, it's commissioning a, a, a captain um, as a, an assistant quartermaster uh, during the Civil War, the United States Civil War, and it's signed by Abraham Lincoln. Um, to the right of us here, we have a, um, it's a Spanish will from 1641, and um, it uh, basically documents uh, the, the holdings um, that uh, a man by the name of Pedro de la Farja um, um, you know, his, basically his assets, uh, and it's, it's complete with a, a seal from the king, which is, um, you know, there's this official government seal here. Uh, we also have to the right here, this is probably one of our oldest um, pieces here, is a uh, page out of um, a Quran. It's, it's basically, it's, a, it's co a commentary on the Quran, and it's in Arabic, and it's dated uh, from at uh, 1276. So this is the reading room. Um, for the archives. So when researchers come in, they'll sign in um, with uh, using um, their ID to, to verify um, their, ident you know, their, their identity. Um, and then they'll uh, pr um, you know, submit a, what we call a call slip, a process slip. Um, that call slip will basically um, give us information um, regarding the, the collection the researcher wants, us, wants to look at. So then what we'll do is we'll go into the archive and pull the material and um, we'll bring it out to them for them to use. So uh, all of the, the actual interaction um, with the documents that the researchers have would be in this room here. So this is the Historical Research Center uh, Digital Lab. Um, our students like to call it Scan Central. Um, and this is where uh, we take uh, basically documents uh, and photos uh, that we've prioritized for uh, digitization. And we'll bring them in here to, to basically scan them and digitize them to make them available either on the web or sometimes we'll get requests from researchers that are um, not, you know, not near campus that need uh, to look at a document or something and we'll uh, do a scan for them to, to be able to review the document. Uh, so this is where all this happens.